the sun right now, what you see is an EMV that's the size of the planet, of this planet. I'll refer to them by the name Dr. Norman Bergman gave them when he discovered them in the rings of Saturn and wrote a book which he published in 1986, The Ringmakers of Saturn. How deference to him, I'll apply that name to them, EMVs, electromagnetic vehicles. They are the EMVs that were in the rings of Saturn that he had detected before 1985. They'll be 18 in the sun right now. They're task driven, and that's the number required. They're all the same, but you have to realize they can change size, and they are solid. Normally, EMVs are shy, but they are making a display for you, for the world. The EMVs have protected this world up until now, but the direction things have taken are considered counter-evolutionary, and you're on the threshold. The threshold will be crossed when these people start a program of global depopulation. That's humanity's call on this planet. Events have recently happened, which are a precursor to implementing uh, inhuman and monstrous designs. A number of people already know this, both on the inside of it and on the outside. These are objects I have an affinity with. I am interrelated with them. They do not have a consciousness like anything like human mind. And they react with the sun. They are necessary to providing the planet with what it needs to begin to be a seedbed for life, especially sentient life. They protect planets from discharges from their fusion star that have been so chosen for this cycle this beginning. There is a fusion star, the sun, it is a life-giving, necessary component, but at the same time, it can wipe out any good that's been achieved in a breath. And the, we are protected by them forming the energy in the sun, dispersing it, not allowing to build up and be aimed towards the planets in our solar system in the form of coronal projections, which will decimate a planet's side facing the sun when it hits instantly. There is an anomaly involved in how we can be in proximity with a fusion star and yet still survive to the image that we had to and enjoy the culture that we've reached and have that longevity to survive. It. I can tell you a number of things about the patterns that these objects respond to. I can tell you energy sources, I can tell you a great deal, but the one thing that emboldened me was NASA's images of the objects in the sun. I don't think a lot of people are fully advised to appreciate the magnitude of wonder they represent. They, <laughs> if you put this in terms of science today on this planet, it just doesn't wash. It can't be examined uh, for what it is. It can only be ignored because conventional science has ignored anomaly and its meaning for so long. They have their own texture and this just does not mix. How ETs may specifically refer to the EMBs is depending on the culture but they are observed with all. The physics that even ETs observe in many cases are not going to work in mankind on Earth's understanding. I mean, that's evident. Now, imagine something being so far advanced beyond that that it's just as difficult for ET to comprehend as it is for mankind on Earth to comprehend ET technology at a certain level. Now you might comprehend 
by the crashed vehicles and attempts to recover technology that they salvage from these vehicles, you might comprehend that level of technology. But there are ETs who don't have crashes. There are ETs that are so much above that 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 level can't comprehend them. As a species, Earth-based humans are magnificent. And I'm sure there's envy, and there's a certain amount of fear in communities from other places, people from other places. I sort of object to calling these uh, aliens and, and uh, speaking of them as if they were so uh, removed from your reality. They're not. They're people. People from elsewhere. I was saddened to have to answer that ETs are indifferent. Long ago, having given up this experiment, still there are those among them that display their craft and retain a hope that what they possess will example better things are obtainable. But I found that there are contradictions in uh, what contacts I've had with ETs in the last 30 years, that there's certain ambivalence there. I've commented that they were indifferent but now it looks to me like they're stepping in on the side of mankind and offering information that can help save this planet. And uh, I was extremely astonished by that. I have lived here long enough and been through enough to have as much awe and as much respect and as much love for people on this planet as anywhere else, maybe more. My home that I know of has always been with the EMVs. Going back as far as I can, I came from some culture or civilization and was taken and have been for a very long time what I am now. As far as being associated with the ETs, I am not.